thank you. The Rager Dykes Auto Group filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection today in federal court. This one day after Ford Motor Credit filed a lawsuit against Rager Dykes. KMAX Paige Broso read through that lawsuit and she has more for us tonight. Paige. Yeah, this lawsuit alleges the Rager Dykes company defaulted on more than $40 million worth of vehicles. After that, several of the dealerships under the Rager Dykes name filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. In this lawsuit, Ford Motor Credit details the reasons why they're seeking legal action against Rager Dykes. One of the reasons, alleged default on owed payments. In the more than 300-page lawsuit, it says Rager Dykes owes more than $116 million in total. Recently, the company attempted to pay $41 million, but according to the suit, those payments were returned for insufficient funds or stopped by Rager Dykes. The document shows Rager Dykes reported information incorrectly to Ford. Ford believes the dealerships would sell a vehicle, but not report it to them until about six weeks later, delaying payments. In the Chapter 11 bankruptcy file, it said assets for Rager Dykes were more than $10 million and less than $50 million. Chapter 11 bankruptcy allows an organization to reorganize or restructure debt. Rager Dykes issued the following statement. The Rager Dykes Auto Group regrets that it became necessary this morning to seek legal protection for several of its dealerships due to a dispute with one of its lenders. We are doing everything in our power to work through the issues. We are eternally grateful for our loyal employees, customers, and friends in Lubbock and the West Texas community. Just last month, the Rager Dykes dealerships in La Mesa and Plainview received the President's Award from the Ford Motor Company. It's the ninth time in 10 years that dealership has won. Both Bart Rager and Rick Dykes known for being very involved in the community. In February, they made a $1 million donation to the ballet school at Buddy Holly Hall. That center just part of Bart Rager's plan to redevelop downtown. We want to be competitive with all the other cities, which we, we should be. We have to have that, you know, to offer. And uh, we've come a long way, but we've still got a long ways to go, and it's going to be awesome. Rager Dykes moved their headquarters downtown and continues to encourage more businesses to move. Right now, all deal dealerships remain open. Next steps are reorganizing or restructuring their debt under the Chapter 11 bankruptcy.